A lot of backyard sound, a little bit like concert halls this time of year. News 8's Jack Hubley explains what toads and frogs are singing about in tonight's wild moment. Time is breeding season for many frogs and toads, and the boys don't hesitate to sing about it. Most of these amphibians need water to reproduce, so off they go to breeding ponds at precisely the right time each year. If it's April, it's time for the Eastern American Toad Concert. Unfortunately, sometimes the musicians pick the wrong watery venue. Peter Loken writes, We have been inundated with large toads this year. They're everywhere and very noisy. I find them dead in my swimming pool each morning. What's going on? Peter, you've got American toads all right. And you're not alone. Judging by the Wild Moments mailbag, this has been a great year for American toad reproduction. Unless you're a toad that mistook a swimming pool for a breeding pond. Those who experienced a toad invasion in April probably know by now that the stampede is short-lived. Problem is, an in-ground pool can be a death trap for toads. Peter, it's not clear exactly what caused your toad mortality. Certainly pool chemicals can't be good for frogs and toads. And since they can't hop out of deep water or climb the smooth sides, toads can actually drown in a swimming pool. Leaving a pool cover in place throughout April can help. Another helpful hint offered by my old pal Jesse Rothiker of Forgotten Friend Reptile Rescue is to float some low-profile rafts in your pool. A few pieces of scrap wood should do it. Give your toads a lift and they just might stick around to help with insect control this summer. I'm Jack Hubley, News 8. Well, if you notice jelly-like clusters of eggs in your backyard pond, Jack says you can probably expect tadpoles in the near future.